Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode is actually part of a series. I'm doing seven days of mobile workflows uh, for creatives. Now the first part of the workflow of course is getting the photos together. So we're going to take a look at Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile since we're talking about mobile workflows. And um, even if you don't follow the next six days, um, each of these could stand alone as a separate tutorial. So if you just want to learn about a little bit more about Lightroom Mobile, you can. You don't have to watch the other six days, but I certainly encourage you to, to get the full story, the full picture of how we're going to work with these applications, both on mobile devices and how we send data back and forth to the desktop components. So with that said, let's kick things off with getting our photos together for the rest of the week for the project that we're going to be working on uh, here in Lightroom. So I'm in Lightroom. And um, uh, you know, I'm not going to bore you with too much of this. This is pretty much a standard collection of photos that I took in New York. Uh, with this collection, I have the ability, because I signed in, there's a little menu here. If you click the menu, you can sign in with your Adobe ID. And if you have a Creative Cloud account, therefore, you now have access to Lightroom Mobile. So with that said, uh, as soon as I signed in, I got the ability to just click the little check mark next to any of these collections and that will sync the photos to Lightroom Mobile or to the cloud. Now, of course, we're not, you know, in some cases, these are raw files, uh, which could be quite large. My DNGs, some of them are iPhone shots with the, you know, the JPEGs. But in either case, whether it's, you know, DNG, raw, uh, JPEG, TIFF, PSD, whatever it is, we're not syncing the full size file. We're not syncing the gi ginormous raw file that you would normally be creating on your desktop just because you know the connections in the cloud just aren't ready for that yet so what we're doing is the next best thing we're taking advantage of lightroom 5's smart preview technology and we're uploading smart we're generating and uploading smart previews on the fly with the full fidelity of being able to view them and work on them whether you're in lightroom or on your mobile devices so um, the other thing I want to point out here, in case you missed it, is once you create a collection and sync it with Lightroom Mobile, you also get the ability to share it publicly. Right now, uh, if you logged into Lightroom Mobile on your browser, you would be able to see it because this is tied to your Adobe ID. But if you wanted to share this with someone who's not a Creative Cloud member or who's not your Adobe ID, just click the share button. That will generate a um, unique uh, URL for this particular collection and then you can copy and paste that that URL into any um, you know email text message whatever and the person that receives the link can then just click and look at your photos now they don't have to sign in they don't have to do anything special just to look however if they click on a photo and they do want to do a little bit more than look for example they have the ability to click like or to uh, add a comment well, obviously you're gonna to wanna to know where those comments are coming from, who said what. So if they're gonna do that, then they do have to sign in with a free Adobe ID, um, free or paid, you know, they don't have to buy anything, but it could be a free ID. They just create it, sign in, and then they can leave all the comments they want. So that's the Lightroom mobile component for the web. Now, of course, we're talking about mobile workflows. So let's go over to the iPad here. I have the ability to have Lightroom mobile on my iPad, iPhone, and Android phone. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the Lightroom icon here to launch it. And here are all the collections I have synced with Lightroom Mobile thus far, including that one of 19 photos from New York. So if we tap on it, the one thing I'll notice if I head back to Lightroom on the desktop is that they're not in the same order. That's because Lightroom Mobile defaults to capture time, but I can go ahead and change that from capture time to custom order, which puts it in the same exact order as it is on the desktop. Now, of course, from here, I can tap, I can uh, get the histogram, I can tap again with two fingers to get rid of the histogram or bring it back up, and also some of the metadata, I can swipe. If I don't want to see any of that, I just want to see the full photo, I can tap with one finger again to kind of hide all that extra information, and then I can keep uh, going through my photos. If I see one that I like, I can swipe up and give it a pick flag. Ooh, I really like that one. As a matter of fact, I like that one so much that I not only want to give it a pick flag, but I also want to give it a star rating. So I can give that a five star rating just by toggling between picks and uh, stars down there in the lower left hand corner. Okay, so keep going. Uh, that one's okay. Eh, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Uh, do I like that one better? Hmm. I can go back and forth. I think I like the first one better. 
uh, like this one that one's cool and eh, not so much not so much and then maybe I don't need the, the two duplicates so maybe I'll reject that one and uh, this one eh, same thing they're duplicates I don't really need that one and now we're t now we're talking this is like kind of a evening shot looking pretty good there uh, I'll take that one as a pick uh, don't need that one uh, I kind of like that one a little bit earlier in the evening this one's a closer shot just zoomed in a little bit more and let's see that's the only one I have of that one so I'm gonna mark that as a pick and um, so far so good okay so don't need that so now I've just gone through the selection process and those 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 um, pick flags star ratings everything I'm doing is syncing as I'm doing it back up to Creative Cloud and of course back down to the desktop so when I get back to my desk those the actual raw files the TIFFs JPEGs whatever will be marked as picks rejects and star rated now uh, this particular one I kind of like I want to do a little bit more with it so let's uh, tap on it and let's go into my adjustments of course I can crop it uh, I can either use the uh, aspect ratios here or I can do a free crop where I can crop it to my heart's content so I just want to crop it off a little bit more right there okay and I can get out of that I can get to my adjustments for example um, my standard Lightroom adjustments here that you would find in a develop module I want to add a little clarity to it great and perhaps a little bit more vibrance awesome and because it's a landscape or a cityscape we can add a little bit more saturation to it as well okay so those changes have been made and of course synced back up to creative cloud as soon as i get out of this there we go those changes will start syncing up to creative cloud as we can see in the upper right hand corner there and then uh, they will come down to the uh, actual raw file on the desktop so the or jpeg or whatever it is on the desktop so that will happen and that's pretty much the workflow i've got the photos identified that i want so i can put the ipad away or come back to my desk the next day and when i come back to my desk sure enough here are all the photos um, including the one that just got adjusted there i can go ahead and go to that uh, in the develop module i can see the adjustments that have been made to it uh, if i go find my history here let's get out of the presets and let's go to the history so i can see that some uh, things have been done to it in lightroom mobile i also have the ability to of course continue working on it and continue adjusting the uh, sliders so I can see what's been done here and continue working. All right, so with that, um, what else can I do? Well, I can, of course, export these out, do whatever I want, but what I really wanna do right now is get rid of the rejects, including one that I didn't mark as a reject, but I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'll just do Command Delete on my keyboard or uh, Control Delete on PC, and that will allow me to remove those either from the collection, but keep them in Lightroom, or if I, um, here, if we do this, we go to all photos. We can then command delete and we can delete all of the rejected photos, not just the ones I just did, but all of the ones that were sitting there waiting to be done. OK, so now we can head back to the New York uh, gallery here, the New York collection. And now my photos, including the one that I adjusted, are ready to be used in the rest of the workflow going forward starting tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. You saw a little bit on Lightroom Mobile, some of the things you can do going back and forth. Of course, I could have done any of those adjustments as well on the iPhone or Android phone, uh, but iPad's got a bigger screen and it was already here, so why not? So with that said, thanks for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow on day two and working with, continuing to work with the mobile workflows. Take care.